bad bad coin flip to lose. Playing against Angus. Also an aggressive Yeti deck, generally speaking. This end's fine. There's Ruby Shard into Well, Crackling Bolt, whatever you've played out. Make a Bumble Bot. Get some Yetis. Alright, Yeti on one's pretty good. Combat kind of training's not the worst. <laughs> also playing a Sapphire aggressive deck. Okay. Color me intrigued. <sighs> Almost clicked the wrong one there. Start pressuring back here. Next turn, Crackling Bolt, kill something else. Probably combat training up my Bumblebot. Crackling Witch, sure. Probably not. Um... Trying to play control decks on the ladder is not a good time, generally speaking. All right, now we are just going to play this as a slow shard because we would like to just jam Mama Yet Mammy Yetis for the next two turns here. Uh, Nova Blitz. You can search for it on Steam. N O V A B L I T Z. B L I T Z. Yep, down to fourteen. Does he have a Mammy Yeti? That's a baby Yeti. You have a Matriarch too. Yeah, and just like everything else, like someone mentioned, you can find archives of all my stuff on my YouTube channel. All right, first one to a Mammy wins. Uh, put you to nine, play another Mammy, combat training one of them next turn, make a Bambly bot. Where I walk alone, boo doo, boo doo. Uh, Nova Blitz actually has a native Linux client, which is wonderful. And actually just run it through native Steam. Beauty. I walk up my shadows on. I'm not dead, right? No, yeah, I can't be dead. He can put me to six, five, two with a fireball. It's like hoping I have nothing. I have another Mammy Yitty. 
baby's been bad. Mama's coming for you, baby. Rawr. Light them up. They're on fire. Do not have time to line up post sight in the mirror. Bring in the transmogs. Bring in the Renaldra Post. Don't really have time to crackling wit. Don't really have time to combat training as that last game showed. I don't hate Verdict. I don't hate Crimson Bolt. Maybe I'll just be a coward and split the difference. Although I got a lot of removal, right? Yeah, I've got Rage Fires and Crackling Bolts and Burns. I'm going to bring in the two Verdicts. I'm pretty good. And I'm bringing in Transmogs. Yeah, I'm going to bring in the Verdicts. Yeah, I've got two Repos. Let's split the difference. The old coward split. Classical coward split. The only thing that's beating. Sometimes I wish someone up there will find me. Till then I walk alone. I, I, baby Yeti on one. Can't lose. And by that, I mean we can totally lose because we're on the draw. So if his hand is nuts, we will probably just die. Especially with this hand that's not interacting. But... Ooh, ooh, slow shard on one, you say. Rage fire on two, you say. I love when we draw the card that lets us curve out. Do, 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 do. I've got music playing in my headset, and people said the music wasn't bleeding on, so we'll we'll have to wait and see if my videos get muted or not. Hopefully they don't. I, my resources are tied up for the next two turns, so I'm just going to fireball his dome here. There is an argument to be made for, like, saving that to trigger a bumble bot, but, like, hopefully after we've played this and played this, we're going to have, we're going to have drawn something else. Hopefully just put, like, line up. Yeah, that, I think this card's just, like, way too slow for the mirror. I think we're basically playing a mirror, only he's on Angus. There could definitely be an argument to have just, like, played this game a turn behind, like, Rage Fire this turn plus Champion Power, and then play this plus make it a 4-4 next turn, so it's immune to Fireball and Crackling Bolt. But with the Mama Yeti to follow it up, I don't think that's really a huge deal. Okay. Did he Rage? Oh, he Rage Fired my Baby Yeti. Got it. Ready, aim, fire. Ready, aim, fire. If he has a transmog, he's definitely in this game. If he doesn't have a transmog and he doesn't... Oh, Mama's home. And she's so angry. <sighs> Do you got a transmog? Do you have a transmog, sir or madam? I'm going to go with a no. Crunch? Mmm. Mmm, crunchy nerd. Um... Look at her grabbing the little farmer by the by the scruff. Not a 75 card mirror with a different champion because we we're not playing focus. I'd be surprised with 75 card mirror because I just like made some changes before we started this, but. Ready, aim, fire. Ready, aim, fire. Interesting. All right, so just dead. Mama Yeti, two toughness. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's so angry. God, it's weird how you just win all the games where you draw the Mama Yetis.
Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mono blood deck. Yummy. Yummy, yummy. Mono blood deck. <sighs> Mulligan. All right, keep. Let's just draw some shards. This hand is just insane if we draw three shards in a row. I think it's better than going to four or five, whatever. What do the kids say? YOLO? Hand looks soft to hero fall. You're not, you're not wrong. But my mama, my mama's no hero. She ain't going to take a fall for no one but herself. Alright, take the shotgun, send it upstairs. This way this one can kill a vampire princess next turn if we miss a shard and he has one of those. Dormant one, okay. Let's run some shards off here. Come on fam. Non-slow shards. Fast shards. Yeah, fastest of shards. Gosh, could you imagine if we'd have played these on curve? This is a turn four matriarch. Okay, one of our heroes has fallen. Hopefully we hit a shard and we don't have another hero. I think I have to hold this in, the, in case of vampire break glass. He missed the shard last turn? No. No, because I was turn four, and this is my turn five. Yeah, so he has not missed a shard. So, yep. Missed a shard this turn for me. God bless. Sapphire. <sighs> Man, we're even playing 24. I almost cut to 23, and then I thought better of it. Yep. Okie doke. I guess I could do this into this. Eh, yellow. I'll just concede to a hero fall. If he doesn't have hero fall and he misses on this. If a lot of things break our way, we could win this game. Okay. Do your worst. How lucky am I? Not very lucky. Another dormant one, sure. Taking four here, make that bigger. So we can sacrifice this. Which will make this two bigger. Well, this is this has got to be wrong, right? You just like sacrifice this, and probably did either way. But I'm pretty sure he's missing damage here. Yeah, because this is an eight, and I'd have I'd have would I have died? I 
I, I definitely would have died to that, right? Like, I'm, I'm not dumb. He just, like, missed lethal by, by a lot. Okay. Hopefully we'll have a hand that's closer to average this game. Uh, Burn doesn't do anything in this matchup. This is fine. Crimson Bolt is fine. Crackling Bolt's kind of medium. Maybe it's better as Transmog. Combat training is great. I don't hate Flickering Gobbler as an extra threat. Actually, I don't mind doing this. Yeah, I think I like doing that. Just, like, diversify the threats to play around Tiro Fall. This is your new best friend. Ignorance is your new best friend. This is the best thing that could have happened. Any longer and I wouldn't have made it. It's not a war, no. It's not a rapture. But you can't take it. The same tricks that, that once fooled me. They won't get you anywhere. From your memories. We are not the same. It's good. It's good. It's good. Make that little Bumblebot cannon. Go first. Yeah, it sounds fine. It's uh, plenty aggressive. We just got like Crackling Bolt into um, Champion Activation on two. Atlantic Plus Sight on three. It's nice to meet you, sir. I guess I'll go. Ignorance is your new best friend. Ignorance is your new best friend. Ignorance is your new best friend. Rawr, Bumblebot. Hopefully we don't get Inquisition. If we resolve this, we'll be in a reasonable spot. Deal. Excuse me, deal. Beautiful. Guess it didn't matter if we get Inquisitioned. It would be very nice if we don't get Inquisitioned again, so that way we can line up our side a second time next turn. I guess I'll go. I'll best be on the way out. That's cute. Just gonna play the slow shard out this turn. Yeah. This one draws a card, but I don't think there's a lot we really want to do. Next turn we can draw two to three cards at least. Dormant one, that's pretty good. Touching his chest now. Oh, this gets okay, so this is a combo. That's neat. It seems strong. That's a really angry Mama Yeti. Oh, you know what? I should have brought in all the transmogrifades because we saw multiple dormant ones last game. I did not even think about that. So we're taking 4-10 this turn. Your opponent's build is sweet. When their opponent's not interacting with you, this is really powerful. So we need to find some removal for this SAP. Start with this, I guess. Draws a card. Hey, there's a transmogrifade, so I guess let's do this. So I can transmog this, but the problem is this is just going to make infinite dorks next turn. Ah. <sighs> 
Either way, we're definitely doing that. Yeah, I definitely should have boarded in more of these. Like if this, if this was another transmog, we'd be in an okay spot. Transmogging this isn't bad because it reverts it to the three drop and then turns it into a random two drop. Uh, we just can't beat this though, right? You just like to gain a bunch and draw a bunch next turn. Yep, definitely misboarded. Did not identify what my cards my opponent was playing that game and how I should have. Playing? Playing in the dredges is tough sometimes. It's just like literally no idea what cards, kind of cards your opponent is playing. That's why playing decks like what I'm playing that are more proactive are generally a good plan. So you can mostly ignore the things your opponent is doing. Well, happy we're playing 24 shards again. I just like to draw shards the rest of the game. Kill it with fire. Gonna be sad if we miss a shard here, but happy we burned that if we hit a non slow shard so we can jam Matriarch down his throat. And we hit the slow shard. What a dagger. So if we were Mono Ruby, we'd be super happy because we'd have Dwarden be slow shards in our deck and we just played Matriarch there and crushed his dreams. Just, 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 <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> I said. Yeah, yeah, sure. Sure. So, William Rowan creates a really powerful card called Rowan that's a 5-5 five, five Steadfast Swift Strike for 3. And it puts it randomly into your deck. And my opponent just happened to get it, hit the 1-51 in and, and, and had to get placed at the top position of his deck. Get wrecked, nerd. <laughs> I am I am the nerd that is getting wrecked this evening. Yeah, we'll just we'll just move on with our lives. Uh, probably don't have time for that. Probably want all these transmogs. Probably cut two sites. Yeah, it's probably fine. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to cut the matriarchs. Let's go over the top with the flickering gobblers and try and rough them up. This deck probably is going to come up the ground really well like it did that last game. No, I don't think Giles does enough. It's probably just worse than playing Angus. This hand's not great. It's probably a keep. Definitely more of a control deck post board. Okay, 
so we're going to wait until my turn to kill this, so that way we can activate my champion power. Yeah, it's very, very similar to magic. So, like, these cards are shards. They're your resources. Your total resource count is listed here at the bottom. And then you have these things called thresholds that allow you to play your cards out. I have a short um, check. Check out this article. It explains the the basics of the resources to me, which is the biggest difference. There's priority and quick actions and a chain, and you can respond back and forth to things. So, very, very similar in that manner. There's the different steps over here that we go through, two main phases, combat steps, etc. There's not a distinction at the start of your turn. There's like uh, a ready st I guess there's, you can't stop in the draw step is one of the big differences. This is, this game's like magic for the 21st century is the best way to describe it. It just like does everything. It doesn't have a lot of the design mistakes that Magic has made over the years in it, which is nice. They've gotten to learn from the history. Lasgard's Vengeance. This card's so good. So it costs 8 initially, and then it's a mechanic called Assault, where whenever one of my troops attack, this gets minus 1 cost in my hand permanently. So I've attacked twice while I've had this in my hand, so it's down to a 6 cost. And it does 4 damage to my opponent and every troop they control. So basically it's just going to rough my opponent up. Hopefully he just plays out like two or three more guys here, and then I can last card's vengeance him next turn. Sure, War Party Guide comes back. Play out another one. Play out another one. Valoring that one, sure. The old Valor at post combat. Um yeah, I'm gonna transmog this. Turns into a random idiot that costs one less and gets rid of all of its powers. Give me three, two, yep. Go ahead and attack with this. Yeah, I think it was going to be resource efficient and play the Lasgar's Vengeance here. Cleans up his board and deals four to him as well. It seems pretty fast for a card game. Yeah, and I'm, I'm using hotkeys and uh, playing fairly quickly, so... The, the fact that you don't have, there's a resource system which is nice because it has nice deck building constraints that way, but the fact that you don't have to like manage a pile of lands and like manually tap them speeds up the rate of play and actually it just improves the user experience so much compared to, you know, just like managing a pile of magic lands. Flickering Gobbler with draw a card on it. Sign me up. This card's really sweet. So it's got Rage, Flight, and Speed. So Rage means every time it attacks, it permanently gains a power. And at the end of my turn, I have to sacrifice this unless I've played an action this turn. And if I've played an action, it goes back to my hand. So the fact that it is an ability that triggers when it attacks is awesome, or when, it comes, when I play it is awesome because it comes back to my hand every turn. My champion power here activates and makes another Bumblebot. Looks like we're just going to run him out of this game here. I drew another one of these assault cards, so it's ticking down. Gobbler comes back to my hand. Sure, man. Get a little War Party Guide back. do to me oh it's what you do to me oh it's what you do to me oh it's what you do to me a thousand miles seems pretty far but they've got planes and trains and cars that walk to you if i had no other way I'll make fun of us and we'll just laugh along because we know that none of them have felt this way.
promise you that by the time that we get through the war we'll never ever be the same you're to blame think i want to change anything Combat training's not stellar in this matchup, but I think we need it as a necessary eviler to enable the flickering goobler, so I'm just gonna run it back. Oh, it's what you do to me. <laughs> yep, sounds great. It's got a piece of interaction. It's got some some velocity. It's got our sweeper in it. This card's just very good against other troop-based decks. Don't have a one-drop. Right. Um, I might just transmog this just to get it out of the way. It's really annoying. Can save one of his other guys. So yeah, I think I'm actually just going to play this shard out, and I'm going to transmog this after it attacks. So Transmog always turns one drops into zero cost artifacts so they don't have power and toughness anymore. So let's just go ahead and do that. Just buffer my life total a little bit. It did give him a forge, so that's why I waited till he attacked with it, because this gives him a resource, so basically I, I pathed him. It's better off that way. Now. Hopefully we hit uh, Crackling Bolt this turn, so we can Crackling Bolt this and then do this. Rage, fire, and yeah, we're straws in that. Wish we would have played that for Ruby on one so we could rage, fire on two, but beggars can't be choosers. Okay. How good would no play be? There's no way he doesn't have a play, though. It's just four resources. Yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and kill his 3-2 here and activate my champion power. So my champion power creates a 1-1 one -one with flying and speed. Can I attack? Please let me attack so I can trigger this. Yeah. I get to trigger this a couple of times, get it down to like 5 hopefully. If I get to attack with this twice more, we'll be in a pretty good spot. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. So every time his guys hit me now, he gets a Valor to his hand. Valors give his guy plus one, plus one permanently. We're dead in like three here, so hopefully this can draw some gas. Ooh, that is excellent because it does four points of damage. Uh, uh, uh. Get that out of here before we can Valor it up and deal more damage with it. Okay, hopefully he plays out a couple guys next turn so we can attack with this and then Lasgard's Vengeance and clean up his board. Mm, I'll bet you he's been missing wild. Okay. Okay, I'm not okay. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. Okay. I do have to be aware of Ozawa's wish. Moonrise Elder, sure. Don't Valor, don't Valor, don't. Sweet. God, I don't know why he's not Valoring, but God bless him for not doing so. Play this. Attack with my Bumblebot. Vengeance to clear his board. If he would have just Valored this, I wouldn't be able to kill it. I'd be in a lot of trouble, but he didn't, so wreck.
Sure, man. Wise Magistrate comes on back. Yep. What is in his hand? So he's got three Valors in his hand. And just air? No, because he hasn't been playing shards either. I'm going to burn this. I don't know why he's not playing the Valors out. And then play Lanupa's site. Maybe he's got, like, a Purify in his hand. It's, like, the only thing I can think of. He's got some kind of reactive cards. Purify would be kind of savage here, but he doesn't have a lot going on either, so I guess, like, we're just racing with Bumblebots if he purifies us. There's the Wish. Okay. Talked about being aware of that. Assuming he wants to get this out of Rage Fire range, but nope. Okay, Rage Fire will kill this because my Rage Fire is dealing six currently. All right, play this Landing Paws Sight, draw some cards, play this Flickering Gobbler, draw another card, play this Baby Yeti, draw another card, play this Baby Yeti after playing this Shard. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave. How many am I leaving back here? Uh, probably just want to leave one back. So this is hitting for five. This is six. And then next turn, this is lethal. So yeah, so I want to attack with this because that way next turn I have lethal in the air. Okay, that was... Could we die next turn? Activated that. Oh, maybe he thought that would activate this. Nope, has a totem trap. Okay. Wow, we're going to lose this game. That sucks. So he's just like holding wishes for some reason. Tough beats. Not be surprised by Clash. Clash should never be in against my deck. He has at least two more Valors in his hand, I think. Hopefully he doesn't have a shard. Sweet. So this baby yeti gets to gain five here. Snap off the chump pump. He should Valor this again to get it out of rage fire range, but more power to him if he doesn't. Yeah. All right. That draws two at least. It's not awful. Please just not more shards. All right. This draws a card. Deal six. Draw a card. All right, what am I supposed to do with this? I think I'm supposed to kill this, as sad as that sounds. I could just hit another Rage Fur and then kill him, though. Yeah, let's be aggressive. We also have Crackling Bolt. Yeah! All right. God bless. Where did I go wrong? I lost a friend somewhere alone in the bitterness, and how could I stay... I'm just going to attack with two to play around Lullaby. Could have double removal here, but I think playing around Lullaby is fine. Whose voice you lower yours, grant it one last Two things he will admit to everything, or he'll say he's just not the same. To wonder why he came, where did I go wrong? I lost a friend. Ugh, Bolt Phasm's really good against this hand. Bolt Phasm is just really good on the play in general. Like, have to leave this Baby Yeti back to block while I have two Lasgar's Vengeance. Feels terrible. God, that can't possibly be right, right? Yeah, I think I just have to, like, hope he ignores this because it's attacking and then, like, triggers these Vengeances enough to get him. Okay, sweet. Yep, hit me for five. I draw a card, you draw a card. Hopefully we hit a Crackling Bolt and a Sapphire Shard. All right, combat training that might encourage him to kill Baby Yeti. Eh? 
If he just goes into like full race mode here, we might be able to sneak a win out with double Lasgar's Vengeance. I don't know. Probably not going to be able to get these cheap enough quick enough though. To friend, especially if he has Matriarch here. Nope. Okay. I guess I shouldn't auto patch so we could get a burn off of this. Okay. Baby Yeti's not bad. Yeah, baby down. Another bulb spasm, I'm sure. I think I gotta pump the brakes. We would have been able to get there on the play, I think. We'd have been a turn ahead on these. We'd be up a full life cycle, so like getting this this turn, we would have been probably enough to like clear his board next turn. I'm sure I'm dead six different ways. Figured out. Every card in his hand is a shard. Maybe we have a chance. Thank you for figuring out I was dead. Appreciate it. Got the slower cards. Bring in the transmogs and the verdicts. Call the day. Oh, wait. Wait, wait. No, come back. I need the... Mm, I forgot I had repost. Repost is a strictly better verdict in this matchup, basically. That's unfortunate. Yep, this one seems fine. A little awkward with the resources. I guess it's possible I'm supposed to just get Ruby there so I can guaranteed Rage Fire on two. It doesn't seem very good. It's only good if he has, like, exactly Bolt Phasm on one again, which I'm sure he will, because he'll punish me. Oh, just Baby Yeti, that's fine. Crackling Bolt was easily our best draw there. Takes this off the table, lets us activate this and start triggering this double vengeance in our hand. Hopefully going to be hard pressed to lose this game after we play Matriarch next turn and just start really ticking these down. This is like half his life total right here. That's going to get very cheap very fast. Evening, Steven. Takata Anarchist. Not the worst, so it's going to hit us for two, but then we both draw cards. And since we were on the play, we should be able to vomit our hand out much faster than our opponent. Another Matriarch. Wonderful. This pretty lady's got speed. So we'll play this, and we'll crunch for four here. And when these both attack, they'll trigger the last guard's vengeances, so both of these get cheaper. So slowly working their way down to zero here. And this card, whenever we gain a Ruby Threshold, so we play Ruby Shard, it gets plus one, plus one permanently. So next turn, this will be a 4-4 four, four if it lives. If it lives being the optimal term there. Yeti, sure. Wow, Yeti Pass is really good for us. He could have Fireball to kill this. But no, if he had Fireball, he would have played it because he can't respond to my Ruby Shard. So I'm going to play another one. I'm going to play Ruby Shard. Both of these will become 4-4s. Four I'm going to play out Baby Yeti. So let's think about this for a second. If he goes end step, double fireball me, puts me to 11. He could, on his turn, put me to 7, play Mama, and kill me. So I guess... I think this is the conservative attack here. Yeah, I think that's fine. I don't think I can lose the game doing this. The big red deck's great. It's very, very good. I think it is easily one of the most underplayed decks in Legacy for how powerful it is. It's very possible that I just shouldn't... Yeah, I should attack with at least two things here, I think. Burn me. Yep, okay. You have Fireball, too? Just double burn. Okay. So if he has a Shard, I'm going to nine. And then he could just kill me, just like triple Fireball or Crackling Bolt, Fireball, Fireball. And then there was nothing I could do about that. 
Mama Yeti is great. He should just be dead here. I'm going to nine, and then this isn't lethal, so my last guard's vengeance will allow me to push allow me to push through lethal. You can't attack with anything, right? I'm pretty sure you can't attack with anything. Uh skip. Mm, matriarch, and you can go block, block, play this. I don't even know. Was he even dead on board? Yeah, he was, right? All right, so these should be in my deck. Uh, huh, Matriarch's a little slow on the draw. I almost wonder if I want to trim them. Is that crazy? Like so do this. I'm gonna do this on the draw. See how that feels. Pretty easy mulligan here. Just one shirt again. This hand's fine. Uh, this hand, we're going to play Ruby on one, Ruby on two, I think. You know, I have a one drop for one. Just, this card's only good turn one on the play. It's unplayable otherwise. It's unplayable in the context of the format, too. Just like Shoku's got, or Shoku, even Shoku, yeah, they've all just got like one ones for like one and two. It's just like generate value. Hmm. I think I still want to rage fire this so that way I can rage fire kill a matriarch next turn if I need to. I guess I have crackling bolt to do that too. Yeah, this probably should be one of the games where we lose in the drop. One, 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 two, three. Oh, these shouldn't be in my deck. That's that's super straightforward. These definitely should not be in my deck. Not that it really matters this game, but yeah, like I guess that that should definitely not be in my deck. Ego shard, mama. We will concede because I might have to give witches like actually be dead. I'm gonna use this as a gain too. All right, missing a shard drop, so I'm going to take one extra to not let him draw a card here. Man, that's terrifying. Burn opponent missing a shard drop. Look at this hand. It has five, five non-shards in it right now. Including another matriarch. All right, shard there is actually okay, because it lets us not only activate our champion, but it lets us hold up our posture, which is a way we can get back into this game. Like opponent plays a card that we can take away from them next turn, and then turn it back on them. They have another trooper just dead, probably. That actually would have just been lethal. I would have dealt three to us and given them a charge for that.
if I put this on here, I hit him to 11, and this is 5, down to 5, down to 3, dead. All right, I guess we just hope I'm not dead next turn. Yes, it definitely does, Steven. I might do this for a little bit. Hasn't been too much Kegelichu. Kind of 